What is a one in a million thing that happened to you that will never happen again? I was playing beer pong years ago. Definitely passed my limit on drinks. This really pretty girl shows up to the party and asks how to play beer pong. I start explaining the rules and when I got to trick shot, she asked what they were. Never breaking eye contact, I threw my ball up, which hit the ceiling fan bladder switch were going at full speed, and went straight into a cup. After laughing for 10 minutes, we all tried to recreate the hole in one. Never even slightly close. Back in 1989, I was living in Las Vegas and a female friend, that I desperately wanted to date and impress, asked me to teach her how to shoot. So we go down to the gun store, rent a .38 special 6 shot, 4 inch revolver. We get a target and a box of wad cutters. I send the target all the way down to the 50 foot mark and start explaining how the gun works. I load a single round in, and I'm showing her the difference between single and double action. I cock the hammer back, and aim downridge, while looking her directly in the face. She's perpendicular to the axis of my arm. I explain how there's much less trigger at all when firing single action, and I pull the trigger. The gun goes off, and I continue to explain why it's a bad idea to ever use single action despite what she might see in a movie. She wants to know where the bullet went. She hits the target return. My hand to god, it was a bullsey. Dead center. Maybe one centimeter up and to the left from a perfect X. Needless to say, it was a total fluke and I could never, ever do it again. I mean, I'm a good shot, but not like that, and certainly not almost 30 years later. My eyes are old. Still, I had her undivided attention for the rest of the day. Sadly, that didn't impress her as much as I'd hoped it would when I realized where I'd hit it. One time I pointed at the sky one night and told my little brother watch this and a freaking shooting star came and went. I wonder how often these things are happening. I remember walking home from work and I have no earthly reason why I would have done this, but I said to myself. I've never seen a shooting star. I wonder. Looked up. Shooting star. Never seen one since. I was struck by lightning 22nd story of John Hancock Tower in Boston, the big glass one, through a conference room window. The storm was very pretty, but I don't go near windows during storms anymore. Edit. Well, this blew up. Since folks are asking, here's my best go at description. The top of my head felt like a bad sunburn, but only briefly. The entire surface of my body felt tingly, like being gently electrified. When it happened my entire plane of vision was the whitest bright light I'd ever seen. It was very, very quick, as you might imagine. I went back to my desk and googled it to figure out WTF had happened. No cool scars no after effects other than the story itself. Holy crap you can get struck by lightning and doors behind glass? Thanks for the new phobia. Before Google, I am old. Deal with it. When I was in college, I was trying for about 12 hours one day to remember the name of the instrument you use to take your blood pressure, sphygmomanometer. I was obsessing about still when I went to pick up beer for a party that night. The store didn't have the beer I wanted so I grabbed some random seasonal mix pack. Helped myself to one when I arrived at the party and opened the bottle only to find that the bottle caps had riddles and trivia on them and mine said pressures on on the top and sphygma manometer on the inside. I took a job in a somewhat remote area of northeast China about 20 years ago. I had two roommates, one American and one Canadian and we were part of just a handful of foreigners out of about a million Chinese in that area. Fast forward 10 years and I'm back in the USA. I was dating a girl who was going on a girl's trip to Mexico. She and her girlfriends went out to a bar and got to talking with another group of people. One of the guys there started showing photos from his travels and lo and behold, there I am. He was my roommate from China a decade before and while chatting with these girls decided to share the pictures of his travels. After a few of those prove that you know him questions they both flipped out. Small world. I've got a good one. I grew up in rural Ontario, my neighbor lived a kilometer away. So I moved to Whitehorse, 6000 kilometers away later on in life, and who should be standing there behind the florist counter? My neighbor from where we both grew up 6,000 kilometers away. Small world indeed. 
was at Dave and Buster's for a friend's wedding reception probably 10 or so years ago. I wanted to play skee ball. I'm not really good or anything, just liked playing and their machines were in really nice shape. Get $5 in tokens, and the very first game I got a bunch of 100s and ended up beating the score to win the jackpot. I had like 860 points or something. Flashing lights, siren going off, everyone looking at me. It takes about 5 minutes for all the tickets to spit out of the machine. It was a giant pile on the floor. Meanwhile, I just wanted to play some skee ball. It finishes and the teenager minding the counter climbs up to the top and resets the jackpot counter. I put in another token and wham. Did it again. Bunch of 100s. Another jackpot, much less this time. The kid working gives me this look like I cheated. You can't play anymore. I gave all the tickets to my friend's daughter and she went on a shopping spree. As many rubber balls and plastic trinkets to last her a lifetime. I stuck my hand out the window to feel if it was still raining and a bird shat right on it. Never doing that again. That bird was talking to to his friends later that night like. So I let one loose while flying and when I looked down, it landed on some random hand stuck out a window. What are the odds? Definitely doing that again. That bird probably started a new freaking competition among his bird friends to see how many hands they can drop a bomb on. I don't know the actual stats but I won one of those gold PS4 sets back when Taco Bell was doing their sweepstakes. I won a PS4 from a sketchy video game history quiz and they shipped it all the way from India. I have no idea what company even sent it, only that to this day the PS4 still holds up and it's been like 4 years of near constant use. Sketchy websites from India actually work? Didn't know it was Indian, till I got an email from a random company saying I came in second place but first place never claimed the prize and then googled the company only to find out it was in India. I had just googled PS4 giveaway and entered about 50 till something stuck. Now I just stick to less sketchy things like Amazon gift cards through hit predictor. Feel weird that I have my address out to a random company. I was about to fall off the staircase at our flat but my reflexes kicked in and I was able to do a handspring and flip forward to land on my feet. It won't happen again and I sure hope I don't come close to falling like that. Once as a kid I was running down a steep hill, tripped, did a full flip and landed on my feet still in mid stride without even slowing or losing my rhythm. It was so fast and smooth I still question if it even happens sometimes. I had the houses burn completely down two years apart from each other. I hope to god the odds are now in my favor. Fun facts, nobody in the houses smoked, stove was not on, and of course no insurance. House 1 the heating unit caught fire. House 2 it was the hot water heater. Yes the shit haunts me to this day. I cut a fly in half while it was flying with a set of scissors. I do have witnesses. I was more surprised than anyone. It's dangerous to have flies flying around with scissors, you should always try to take the scissors off them. I was doing a hike in Maui, and at the top of the hike was a large waterfall on a sheer cliff face. The moment I got to the waterfall, I heard this earth shaking rumbling. I could feel the sound, kind of like heavy bass through speakers. When I looked up at the waterfall, a couple of huge rocks were falling down. If I had been a minute faster on the hike I would have been right below those rocks as they were falling. Terrifying but also breathtaking to see the power of nature. I fell off my loft bed, did a mid air flip and landed on a dildo and got a dildo shaped bruise on my hip. So close. Truly a shame. Once upon a time, my brother and I were arriving late at night to a little cabin in the woods. It was winter, it was pitch black outside, and it was freezing. We needed to get a fire lit a sap, but the firewood was stacked outside the back of the cabin, under the porch. Now, my brother and I used to watch a lot of horror movies together, and again, it was the middle of the night, at a cabin in the woods, it was winter, and it was fucking freezing and pitch black outside. We decided to flip a nickel to see who would venture out to get the firewood. And here's the part that answers the question, the nickel landed on its side. Nobody went under the porch that night. I met my wife for Chinese food at a time when we were living separate and she had already served me papers for divorce. We both opened our fortune cookies. Mine said, you have a lot to offer to the right person. 
has said, give him another chance. I saw the first hint of consideration in her eyes. We ended up not divorcing and I'm happy 12 years later. Dang how much did you pay them to do that? Probably less than a divorce lawyer. I was in Vegas, playing roulette. Being somewhat drunk, and a bit of a goof, I was saying I was psychic, and that the next number was going to be 17. It hit. There was some groaning, but I'm an amiable guy, so it was good humored. I then predicted that it was going to be 17 again, my psychic vision said so. Hit again. Ha ha, it was hilarious. Third spin? Yeah, 17 again. Boys, my vision was clear. Hit again. The whole table was silent, you could hear a pin drop. I'm thinking that was a one-off type of thing, though the odds aren't quite one in a million. How many wick wicks could a wick whack if a wick whacking wick could whack wicks? Subscribe to find out.